Y'all ready to talk about why you're afraid to show your face on video? <laughs> Here I am, peekaboo. No, I know why you are, and it's okay, because you'll get there. It's still probably comfort zone stuff, and those are two words that I do not like to use together, because I don't really think people know what the comfort zone is, how it was created, and why it is so difficult to extract yourself from. Because we know, at this point, no growth happens in the comfort zone. It's where dreams go to die. Because I'm watching a video right now. It's one of the new lads that I'm watching. He does AI videos. And he's over here talking about how he had a lot of intimidation by seeing all the other bros and their big fancy setups and their big microphones in your face and their big neon and their jump cuts and their this, that, all this kind of stuff. People actually think that you need to do that in your videos. You're not building a connection with anyone. You're not doing anything special. You are literally looking like everyone else. How do you build a personal brand looking like everybody else? Can you explain that to me? I don't get it. So in addition to this lad and one of the other um, mentor fellows that I watch and am invested with, yeah, he, he does the same thing. He's doing exactly what I'm doing now. Putting the camera in your face and talking to it. Well, isn't that weird? That's kind of weird. Don't you feel weird? Weird, weird, weird. No. What's weird is thinking that people who don't want to see what I'm doing are watching and judging. Why would they do that? Of all the minutes of the day that someone would take time out of theirs to come have an opinion about me, not anyone who would ever engage with some of the products and services that I offer, if y'all don't see how powerful that is, I can't help you anymore. If you're self-conscious about being on camera because this, that, and the other reason, I am incredibly self-conscious. Just not as it pertains to this. Do I know why? No. No, I don't. There's places where I feel very natural, and for some reason I feel natural doing this, and there's other things that I don't feel natural doing. I don't know why. It doesn't matter. Am I having fun? Mm-hmm. Is that what matters? Mm-hmm. Do I feel like I have things to say? Yeah. Do I feel like these things are valuable? Someone's going to find value in it. And I'm here for them. Because it's just like at Facebook. You never know who is scrolling through your stuff, watching you on silent, never saying anything, but having their perspective shifted every time you post. They might just be a little too shy to come out and say it. They might be too self-conscious to want to get in touch. I understand that, but then again, nothing grows in the comfort zone, but more discomfort until it gets to a level that they can't take it anymore and they finally take action on their timeline. I would never be one of those people who bully or scold anyone to get out of the cave or get out of their comfort zone. They know where they are. They know how they feel. And they'll stay there until they're ready to come out. And then they'll come out and they'll see the sun shining and they'll realize, I could have been out here two years ago. And it's like, yeah, homie, but we're happy to see you now. In this landscape of people only wanting to see the best parts of you and your highlight reels and your freaking money shots and <laughs> know what I mean. It just social proof that you're cool and you know what you're talking about. Man, everyone starts somewhere, yeah? No one starts out at the top. And if that's something that bothers you, and that's why you don't get on the field and you keep looking from the bleachers, I don't know what to tell you. Don't let your butt get numb sitting there. Mine was for a very long time. And then I had a massive... That's my word lately, apparently. I had a massive tragedy, and 
Like egg, I came out of my shell. Why that had to happen for me to come out of my shell? I don't know. I don't think about it. I just show up and do the thing. I guess my advice here is don't wait until something horrible happens to you before you start to express yourself. Not that it would be too late, but you could have started a lot sooner and been a lot further ahead. But don't think about that either. Just do what you got to do and have fun with it or you won't want to sustain it. All right, I guess that's all for this video I make now. And um, we'll see you on the regular rotation, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning.